Hey guys, Bingo Cat here. So today I will be showing you guys my upgraded Dell Optiplex 755. So for those of you who don't know, I bought a computer off of eBay about a month ago, a Dell Optiplex 755, and I made a video about it. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link down below in the description. You guys can go ahead and check that out if you've never seen it. Long story short, the computer ran slow, like it just was not a speedy computer. And I mean, what do you expect? It's a nine-year-old computer. Most nine-year-old desktops and laptops probably do not run that quick in 2017, you know, if you wanna throw a modern operating system and modern programs on there. So I decided I wanted to go ahead and perform some tasks to try and speed up this PC. So I decided to throw in some new parts and do some cleaning with this PC in order to see if it would run better. So I actually upgraded two parts in here. So before it's just using integrated graphics. So you know, Intel Core 2 Duo and integrated graphics. Plus Windows 10 does not make for a very fast operating system. So the graphics card I chose to put in here is the MSI GeForce GT 1030 graphics card with two gigabytes of RAM. And the reason I wanted to go with this particular graphics card is number one, it's relatively new. And number two, it can do some light to moderate gaming. So that's a nice little benefit. And the third reason I went with this particular 1030 instead of one of the other ones is that it has a display port output and an HDMI output on there. And the other GT 1030s I was looking at had a DVI and HDMI output on there. And I'm like, you know, it's 2017. I don't want any legacy ports on a brand new graphics card. And DVI is pretty much a legacy port at this point in time. So luckily MSI sold a graphics card with DisplayPort and HDMI on there. So I got that. Now, the other part I decided the upgrade was I decided to upgrade the hard drive to an SSD. So the SSD I chose to get is a SanDisk SSD Plus, 120 gigabyte. It costs about 50 bucks on Amazon. And the MSI GT 1030 graphics card cost $72. So, you know, I spent about a little over $120 upgrading this computer. That's not too bad. And the third thing I did to try and speed up this PC was I did apply some new thermal paste to the CPU heat sink. So how does this PC run now? Well, you guys will be seeing how it'll run in a minute. All right guys, so here's the computer on the floor here. Let's go ahead and turn it on. And let's go ahead and wait for this computer to boot up. guys the computer is booted up darn that was a fast boot up it was just about as fast as my main rig off screen to the right so it's probably due to a fact that it's using Windows 10 which Windows 10 just boots up quickly anyways and the fact that I was using an SSD so that's probably why this computer booted up so quickly and I already entered in my super secret passcode so let's go ahead and log in and darn, that was pretty quick. When I logged in, the Discord window popped up immediately like it was already there without me even really having to log in. So that's impressive to be honest. <laughs> that was actually pretty impressive. I'm impressed with how fast this computer booted up. So let me go ahead and show you guys the specs inside my computer. So the RAM, it originally came with four gigabytes of RAM, but I decided to leave that alone. I just left four gigabytes in here, which to be honest, in 2017, for your main computer, I recommend at least eight gigabytes of RAM, but just for testing purposes, I think four gigabytes of RAM is fine. And four gigs of RAM on your secondary computer is also probably fine. Um, but on your main computer, I really do recommend getting more than four gigabytes of RAM nowadays. It's just, it's just better. And this computer can support up to eight, but I left four in there for now. So running Windows 10 Pro, which by the way, just for a test, I installed Linux Mint on here. Didn't seem to run any faster than Windows. And let's see, I've also had Windows XP on here and Windows Vista and seven, and they didn't really run any better than 10. So I don't know. So this also has an Intel Core 2 Duo processor in here. E7200 at 2.53 gigahertz. 
And then the graphics, of course, is my NVIDIA GeForce GT 1030. Then storage is a 128GB SSD. So not the most powerful specs in the world, but thanks to me mainly putting a new graphics card in here and putting an SSD in this computer, it seems to run quicker, and I like that. Navigating the operating system, pretty quick for the most part. For the most part, there is not really any serious user interface lag, at least when you have nothing else open. When you start opening applications, in my experience, the user interface lag, unfortunately, does come back a little bit, but right now there's no user interface lag, so that's pretty nice. So let's say I was to do web browsing on this computer. Let's go ahead and open Chrome. Chrome basically opened instantly, so that was pretty nice. All right, so let's go ahead and go to YouTube and see what kind of videos we can play. All right, so I got an ad up there, and of course the ad loaded instantly because, you know, ads always seem to load instantly whether you like it or not. I want to watch uh, 4K videos, so let's go ahead and just check out one of my own videos. That way I will not get copyright striked. None of these... Oh, here's a 4K video. And of course I get an ad. Alright, let's skip that ad. But let's go ahead and increase the resolution up to 4K. And let's see how this runs. Now this is a 1080p monitor, so it's not like, you know, I could actually like, tell the difference between 1080p and 4K, but either way. So it's running pretty smoothly. Let's go ahead and skip forward in the video just a little bit. So there's absolutely no lag now when watching YouTube videos, so that's pretty nice. And it's all thanks to the GT1030 that I put in here, most likely. Oh, would you look at that? That is a big box. So that's great, Casey, but what else can you do on this computer besides <coughs> watching videos? Well, let's go ahead. In my last video, I played a little bit of Candy Crush Soda Saga. Let's go ahead and do that again. Now, I don't play Candy Crush in my free time. Nothing against you if you do, of course, but just letting you guys know that... I don't usually play Candy Crush, so the user interface, no, I'm not going to consent to the collection of my, well, I guess I have no choice, do I? Um, the user interface isn't lagging like it was before, so that's pretty nice. Not that Candy Crush is a intensive game or anything like that, but it was still lagging before I put in the new graphics card. So, whoops, I meant the open task manager. So if we open up task manager right now, um, it was using up a good chunk of the CPU there, the task manager was. <laughs> but for the most part, um, seems to be going smoothly. Took a little longer than I would like to load, but I can live with that. Um, as you guys can see, there's absolutely no leg. So let's go ahead and open up Minecraft real quickly. I did have GTA 5 loaded up on here for a little while and actually ran pretty decently. It did have some frame drops, but otherwise it wasn't that bad. So let's just go ahead and go to the Hypixel server. And wait for me to log in. So I'm in Hypixel, so if we check my frames right now, it says I'm getting... 58 FPS, which isn't that great in Minecraft, to be honest with you, but what do you expect? There's a lot going on in this screen right now. And so, if... And I just got 12 FPS for a second. 55 FPS. Let's go ahead and go into single-player mode and create a new world in there and see what kind of FPS I get in single player. Alright, so as you guys can see it's creating the world right now, which on my main PC this would have happened instantly. It's going a little bit slower on here. Alright. Alright, 
This must require a lot of CPU intensive work because it is just not loading quickly at all. It's not generating this world that quickly. Getting a whopping 17 FPS. All right, now that the world is basically generated though, let's go ahead and walk around. Hello, there we go. If I downloaded Optifine in Minecraft, it would probably help matters, but it's not going that bad. It's going at an acceptable frame rate, I guess. Not super fast, but it's for the most part playable. Why am I hitting cows? I meant to, let's go ahead and start mining blocks. And when I went in the water, it went down to 25. But Minecraft is playable. All right, so let's go ahead and launch the notoriously unoptimized player unknowns battlegrounds. My client version is 2.6.46. Please exit the game and update to 2.6.44. Oh, great. <laughs> Yeah, this game is buggy, I guess, to say the very least. Like, really? I have a client version newer than 2.6.44 and I can't join the game. Really? That's so stupid. Alright, so I decided not to bother with Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, so let's go ahead and run Cinebench. Alright, so let's go ahead and run the CPU test in Cinebench. Alright guys, so the CPU Cinebench test finished. I got a score of about 130 CB, which I believe is about the exact same score I got last time. So let's go ahead and run the OpenGL test, which I couldn't even run last time. Alright guys, so the benchmark tool's done. My OpenGL score, I got 39.21 FPS, which isn't the best score in the world, but it's pretty good. It's not bad at all. Alright guys, so that was my video on my upgraded Optiplex. To be honest, I do not recommend buying computers with Intel Core 2 Duo processors inside them in 2017, even if you were to put in an SSD instead of a hard disk drive and a more modern graphics card. Maybe even upgrading the RAM, I don't know. The Intel Core 2 Duo processor is really just not a speedy processor to use in 2017. And putting an SSD in here and putting a graphics card in here did speed up the computer a little bit, but to be honest, it just was not worth the money. Upgrading this computer is just not worth the cost, and I'm probably going to sell this computer. I'm probably going to take the new parts out of it and then sell the Optiplex on eBay, because I really don't want it. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And please check out my Twitter, Instagram, and Discord linked down below in the video description. As always, I thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.